Welcome to the in-service training program for the AMSCO Lab Series Small Steam Sterilizer. Steris has developed this program to help you learn how to properly operate and maintain your AMSCO Lab Series Small Steam Sterilizers. The AMSCO Lab Series Steam Sterilizers are manufactured in two chamber sizes. The Lab 110, which has a 16 by 16 by 26 inch chamber, and the Lab 250, which has a 20 by 20 by 38 inch chamber. These sterilizers are equipped with either a hands-free power door or an easy-to-operate manual door. The door stops automatically upon obstruction, and the control lockout feature prevents a cycle from starting if the door isn't sealed. The manual door can be lowered by simply pushing down on the handle, taking care as the door requires minimal force to operate. The AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer is equipped with a programmable logic control and a color touchscreen interface. This user-friendly interface allows the operator to create passwords, define user access levels, program sterilization cycle parameters, and perform DART, Bowie DIC, or leak tests. Depending on the type of model purchased, the AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer can perform gravity, liquid, pre-vacuum, and isothermal cycles. There are 20 programmable cycles available, allowing the operator to set up cycles for regular loads. Cycles can be user-defined and named according to user, cycle, or whatever is best for the application. The impact printer is located above the control screen. The printer records all cycle parameters, cycle status, and alarms for every cycle, and can be configured to capture the cycle status at various time intervals. All AMSCO Lab Series sterilizers have a swing open cabinet panel to allow access to the main power switch and utility valves. The main power switch is inside the cabinet. This switch should be left in the on position and only turned off for servicing. The steam supply valve is located behind the front access panel above the chamber. Ensure this is in the open position before trying to operate the sterilizer. The water supply valve is located behind the front access panel below the chamber. Ensure this is in the open position before trying to operate the sterilizer. The chamber emergency manual exhaust valve is used only in emergency situations. This valve is to be left in the closed position for normal operation. Behind the cabinet, you'll also see the pressure gauges for the sterilizer chamber and jacket. For sterilizers equipped with an integral electric steam generator, there may be a mechanism for automatically flushing the generator daily. If your sterilizer is set up to be flushed manually, there will be a valve associated with flushing the steam generator. Instructions for flushing the generator are provided later in this video. Please consult your operator manual in conjunction with this video for instructions. Steam sterilization is the most cost-effective and dependable sterilization method for sterilizing goods that are not heat and moisture sensitive. Steam heats and penetrates rapidly, requires brief exposure time, is non-toxic, and leaves no residue. Because of the high temperature generated during this process, instruments or other items that are heat and moisture sensitive cannot be sterilized with steam. For any item that is being sterilized, please refer to all manufacturer recommendations prior to processing. In order to effectively sterilize glassware, liquid media, biohazard bags, or other items, it is important to understand a few basic principles of steam sterilization. Saturated steam contains a very high amount of energy that is lethal to even the most resistant of bacteria spores. However, in order to kill these spores or any microorganism, the steam must make contact with the organism. Since not all organisms die at the same rate, there is also a time factor involved in sterilization. A frequently used time and temperature for sterilization is 20 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius to achieve a sterility assurance level of 10 to the negative fourth, which corresponds to a population reduction of 10 logs. Since the time required to achieve a particular sterility assurance level decreases as the temperature increases, this time may be shortened. Please consult your operator manual for other time and temperature settings. When preparing your load, there are two important factors to remember. Steam must contact the load, and air will prohibit this from happening. For this reason, during the conditioning phase, the air is removed from the sterilizer. This is accomplished through either gravity air displacement, as the steam pushes the heavier air down the drain, 
or it is accomplished through the use of a vacuum, which pulls the air out of the chamber. It is important to load your items with this in mind. Look for any items that might trap air. For tubing or glassware that cannot be inverted, it is also important to utilize a pre-vacuum cycle. It is very important when sterilizing liquids to utilize a liquid cycle. When sterilizing liquids, you must only use open or vented containers to avoid the risk of rupturing from internal pressure. Please consult your operator manual for appropriate sterilization times for various volumes of liquid and for a full list of safety warnings. Pay particular attention to how liquids are loaded. If liquids are loaded with no space between containers, set the sterilization time for the total combined liquid volume. If space can be left between the containers, then the time can be set for the volume of one container. If you are using an optional load probe, then this is not applicable as the control regulates the time based on the temperature reading of the probe. Safety, yours and your associates, is an important part of the sterilization process. Please remember to utilize appropriate personal protective equipment such as safety glasses and gloves. An oven mitt or other hand protection should be used to remove items after a cycle is complete. AMSCO Lab Series sterilizers include a number of important safety features. Be sure to read all of the safety warnings and cautions that are detailed in the safety precautions, sterilization operation, and routine maintenance sections of your Lab Series operator manual. Once the sterilizer is powered on and the control ready for operation, the sterilizer is in standby mode. Touch the screen to log in. The next screen is the login screen. The default username is STERIS in all capital letters. The default password is 1000. The AMSCO Lab 110 is equipped with a rack system that holds two removable shelves. The Lab 250 is loaded using either a rack and shelf system or a loading car and carriage. The shelves can be pulled out halfway and lock in place, allowing for ease of loading. As you prepare your load, remember to look for areas where air might be trapped and ensure that steam is able to contact all areas. Once the load is complete, the appropriate sterilization cycle can be initiated. For basic sterilization of glassware and other hard goods, the gravity cycle is a good option. For items that might trap air, such as glassware that cannot be loaded upside down, tubing or wrapped goods, the pre-vacuum cycle is the best option. Remember that the liquid cycle must always be selected when sterilizing any type of liquid. The liquid cycle contains a slow exhaust that keeps the liquids under pressure until the internal temperature is below the boiling point. Although some sterilizers use an optional load probe, most AMSCO Lab Series sterilizers use a slow timed exhaust to ensure the liquids are cooled to a safe temperature prior to the completion of the cycle. The cycle option screen is set at the factory with default cycles. Four cycles are shown on each screen. Once you have selected the cycle, a confirmation screen will pop up. Push that button and the cycle will initiate. The screen will then give you a countdown of the estimated total cycle time. From these in-cycle screens, you can monitor the progress of the cycle. Once the cycle is complete, the cycle complete alarm will sound and the pressurized door seal will be retracted. It is now safe to remove the load. However, the load may still be too hot to handle and may require some additional time to cool. Be sure to use a protective glove, such as an oven mitt, to remove the load. When the sterilizer experiences an abnormal condition, an alarm display will appear along with an audible tone. The display indicates the problems as determined by control sensors. The alarm can be silenced, and depending on the nature of the alarm, the sterilizer will either abort the cycle or resume the cycle. Some alarms, such as those that indicate a phase is taking longer than expected, are just to alert the user. As soon as the temperature and pressure settings have been reached, the cycle will resume. For those alarms that are a result of a malfunction or potentially dangerous condition, such as a flooded chamber, the cycle will abort. When a cycle aborts for an alarm, the sterilizer stops and returns to a safe standby state. Once the sterilizer has returned to a standby state, the door seal deactivates and the control returns to standby mode. Contact your Steris service representative or other service technician to report this issue 
and do not operate the sterilizer further. Occasionally, you might need to end a cycle before it is complete. For this, you use the abort touchscreen button, represented by the red triangle. Pressing abort causes the sterilizer to stop and return to the standby state. Once the sterilizer has returned to a standby state, the door seal deactivates and the control returns to standby mode. In the case of any aborted cycle, be sure to check the chamber pressure gauge prior to opening the door. To this point, we have been looking at operating the sterilizer from the cycle screen. The AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer has many customizable options and functions that are accessible through the Options menu. An option for printing the current status of the unit is located here, but is also available when the sterilizer is in cycle. You can also print all cycle values that are programmed in the sterilizer. This will print out all 20 programmable cycles. All of the customizable options are accessed through the supervisor mode. We will review the following options in this video. Setting cycle values, setting passwords, setting time and date, setting units of measure, and setting utility shutdown. The other options are explained in the operator manual. The AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer is designed with 20 programmable cycles. Each cycle can be programmed per the user's requirements. Once in the supervisor mode, choose Cycle Values. From here, you will see the cycles that have been pre-programmed in the control. Each cycle is represented on the first screen, and then duplicate cycles have been set on the subsequent screens. Any cycle can be modified to be whichever cycle is desired. Start by choosing a program to modify and then choose the type of cycle you wish to use. Remember, if you are sterilizing media or other liquids, to only utilize the liquid cycle. From here, you can name the cycle, adjust the purge time in minutes and seconds, set the temperature for the sterilization phase, along with the time in hours, minutes, and seconds. For guidelines concerning proper cycle parameters, please consult your operator manual for the section on techniques of sterilization in Section 3. There are a few other cycle parameters to be aware of, but for a rare exception should not need to be modified. These selections are the over temp setting, over drive setting, and under temp setting. The over temp button is set at the factory and should not need to be altered. This is the temperature at which the sterilizer will abort the cycle. This is a safety setting that prevents the sterilizer from heating the chamber to an excessive temperature. The overdrive is a target temperature in excess of the preset sterilization temperature. It ensures that the needed sterilization temperature is reached. This is a factory preset temperature that, in most cases, should not need to be adjusted. Should the temperature of the chamber drop below the set sterilization temperature, the under temp is the number of degrees below the set sterilization temperature at which the unit will alarm. Should the temperature drop below the under temp setting, the control can be set to either resume the cycle timer once the temperature has risen to the appropriate value, or the timer can be reset to begin the sterilization phase from the beginning. If the temperature fails to rise back to the set sterilization temperature in 30 minutes, the cycle will abort. In addition to the previous cycle values, the pre-vacuum cycle will have the addition of vacuum parameters. Programming a pre-vacuum cycle will entail choosing the depth of vacuum, number of steam pulses, and the desired pressure along with the dry time. The values pre-programmed on the sterilizer should be sufficient for most applications, but should further air removal be required, please contact technical support for additional assistance. To assign a password, choose a blank button from the password screen. From here, you can name the user, set a password, and define their user level and how many minutes until the control times out and requires password input again. The user levels range from operator to supervisor and service. One note regarding login names and passwords. The default login of Steris and password of 1000 will remain visible on the login screen until the supervisor login name is changed. With the AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer, up to 12 users can be assigned. Simply assign a username, set the password and required access level. There is also a setting for the amount of time allowed to elapse before the unit returns to standby mode and the password needs to be reset. Setting the date and time for the sterilizer is easily accomplished through the Set Time and Date button. This button is also found in the Supervisor mode. Right next to the Set Time and Date button is the Set Units button. This will allow you to choose which temperature and pressure measurements to display. 
The utility shutdown feature allows the jacket steam and the generator, if present, to be automatically turned off during program time intervals. This allows the steam utility to be conserved when the sterilizer is not in operation for a period of time. There are a few easy maintenance considerations for the AMSCO Lab Series Sterilizer. These include DART or Bowie Dick Tests, Vacuum Leak Tests, Cleaning the Chamber, Changing the Printer Paper, Flushing the Generator. The DART test and the Bowie Dick test are means to ensure proper air removal from the chamber and load items. These are not tests for adequate sterilization. These test cycles are found in the cycle menu on the last set of screens. Before running a DART or Bowie Dick test, you must first run a warm-up cycle. When ready, place the test pack on the bottom shelf above the chamber drain and close the door. This takes three and a half minutes to complete, and afterwards, the chamber can be opened and the test pack inspected. Carefully remove and open the DART test or Bowie Dick test pack. Examine the test sheet indicator for complete and uniform color change. The entire cycle is also documented on the test cycle printout. A vacuum leak test should be run once a week to ensure there are no leaks in the piping or door seal. To ensure valid test results, always run a warm-up cycle before performing this test. After the warm-up cycle has completed, you can initiate the leak test by pressing the leak test button. The entire vacuum leak test cycle is also documented on the printout and includes a leak rate value. A leak rate of less than one millimeter of mercury per minute is considered acceptable. Leaks greater than this need to be addressed by service or maintenance personnel who can monitor the air tightness of the system and make repairs or adjustments as needed. Steris recommends inspecting the interior chamber and chamber drain strainer each morning before running the daily warm-up cycle. Start by cleaning the chamber drain strainer when making an inspection of the chamber. After pulling out the drain strainer, remove any obvious debris and if necessary, clear the screen in the strainer using a wire brush or similar tool. Once it has been cleared of obvious debris, reverse flush the strainer under running water. Replace the strainer in the chamber drain when complete. The chamber itself needs to be cleaned regularly, but due to differences in water quality, frequency of use, and other factors, no specific frequency interval is recommended. Base your cleaning schedule on local water conditions and the chamber's appearance. You'll want to clean the chamber with a mild detergent solution when spills or other soiling have occurred in the chamber. It is important to avoid using chloride-based detergents or detergents with bleach when cleaning the chamber surface. Sterilizing liquids with chlorides in them, such as salt water, should be avoided as well. We will now cover changing the printer paper roll. Make checking the paper part of your daily routine. If you see the color stripe, the roll should be changed. To change the roll, first press and release on top of the printer outer door. Tear the paper between the take-up spool and printer. Open the inner printer door and remove the old paper roll gently pulling any remaining tape out of the printer roll mechanism. Insert the new paper roll. Insert the end of the paper into the printer roller mechanism just behind the ink cartridge. Press the paper feed button on the printer until the paper advances through the printer mechanism and ink cartridge and out the bottom. Continue pressing the paper feed button until about 18 inches of paper hangs out of the printer. Remove the take-up spool from the drive by inserting your fingers in the cavity and lifting slightly to pull the spool out. Insert the end of the paper into the slot of the take-up spool. Coil the paper around the take-up spool until it's secured. Reinstall the take-up spool in the bracket and manually roll up the slack paper. Close the printer door. For those sterilizers that are equipped with their own integral carbon steel steam generator, daily flushing is necessary to prolong the life of the steam generator's heating element. Some units are purchased with a mechanism that automatically flushes the generator. This will occur first thing in the morning when the sterilizer is started. Because this automatic flush can only be performed when the generator is cool, please ensure that you have scheduled a shutdown time for the sterilizer. For those sterilizers that are not equipped with an automatic flush, there's a simple procedure for flushing the generator manually. Upon starting the sterilizer in the morning, the initial screen will prompt the user to flush the generator and provide a step-by-step -step guide. Follow the steps on the screen, beginning with verifying the steam pressure in the generator is zero PSIG. Open the valve for the steam generator and press start on the timer. 
Once the five minute flush is complete, the drain valve should be closed and the sterilizer is ready for use. In addition to routine maintenance, regularly scheduled preventive maintenance is essential for ensuring peak performance and avoiding unscheduled downtime. Refer to the operator manual for a preventive maintenance schedule. Certain preventive maintenance activities must be done by a Steris service technician or a Steris trained service technician in your facility. To schedule a maintenance appointment with a Steris service technician, call 800-444-9009. Steris also offers four on-site preventive maintenance programs. These programs are designed to help ensure your equipment will operate according to factory specifications and to protect your capital investment. Ask your Steris representative for details on these valuable programs. This concludes the training program for the AMSCO Lab Series Small Steam Sterilizer. For more information about the presentation you've just seen, or to order supplies or accessories, visit SterisLifeSciences.com or contact your Steris account representative.